morning. We are Brent and Amy Powell. We're realtors with uh, Keller Williams Olympic, serving Port Angeles, Squim, Joyce, Black Diamond. Where else? Where else are you? All around the immediate area. Yeah, pretty much the North Olympic Peninsula. Yeah, but we try not to get out of our area of expertise. Um, we recommend other realtors if it's Port Townsend or um, Port Hadlock. Those are just, uh, we don't really know a lot about those. But anyway, here we are. We do swim in Port Angeles primarily. Yeah. And uh, what we do every week is bring you the homes, tell you the homes that have closed this previous week um, in PA and Squim. And we start with the, the least expensive, go to the most expensive. We don't we include site and manufactured, site built and manufactured, not condos, because there's hardly ever condos come up. And anything else here? Yeah, many times the photo that you see oh, yeah. um, does not represent how the house actually looks because the photo is from the county and that makes it public domain so we can use that um, without having to travel around, you know, take half a day to take our new photos. So most of the time, the houses have been renovated, updated, yeah. they look nicer. Uh, we've had a comment or two, it's, how can they ask that much for that house? Well, let's, you're looking at a photo that's eight years old. Yeah. That's the problem. So keep that in mind. <coughs> and um, so last week, week we started f showcasing a home and uh, we, we uh, learned some important lessons. What did we learn last week on that? Um, we want to be, want to pick a house that we're really excited about and only say good things. <laughs> yeah, uh, we did have an objection from the listing agent yeah. uh, who is a friend of ours and um, he was concerned that we did not promote his listing and besides we hadn't asked him if we could do it. We didn't think it was a problem. We didn't mention the address but uh, he did take exception to that so we took it off. You won't find it on YouTube anymore. And but it had wonderful, some wonderful features about yeah. it. It just needed updating. So yeah, it just needed. <coughs> Don't they all updating? But uh, so now we do have the permission of the listing agent. The one we're showing this week, uh, we're excited about it. We love it. I'd love to buy it myself, except I don't want to live in Squim. Uh, if you want to live in Squim, this is a great house at a great price. And I would imagine by now it's probably under contract. No, it wasn't a few an hour ago. It wasn't. Oh, all right. So I you're checked. going to see that, Amy, as the primary on that. And one correction, because uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of there. I'm sitting in my favorite chair, and she asked me what the square footage was, and I had glanced at the listing, and I said 200, 2007. Well, I was wrong. That's actually the year it was built. Right next to that number was 1830, I believe, the square feet. So it's, let's uh, give you a correction. 1857. Ahead of, 1857, a correction ahead of time. So yeah. should we get going? Yeah, I have one more detail. Okay. No, I can't remember what it was. It's important. <laughs> oh, I know. We have had some requests in, in the comments for service providers. Who's good? Who would you pick? And we have a, a list that we would be happy to email to you if I have your email address. So <clears throat> text me, text us, email us, and we'll watch the mic, and we'll get it to you. So... All right. <coughs> Sorry. Here we go. <coughs> House number one is on Leland Avenue. It's um, originally listed for fifty nine nine. They dropped the price to forty thousand, and it sold for thirty three 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 seven. So twenty six thousand five hundred and sixty three thousand dollars less. It's on leased land, so that you have to pay rent for the land and. Sometimes they throw in utilities on that. One bedroom, one bath, 49 days on the market, built in 1981 with 588 square feet with a neighborhood view. The next one is uh, on West 9th Street here in Port Angeles. Original price at 119,000, sold at 124,000, which is five over. Happy sellers there, it's a cute place. We've been in this one. And it has two bedroom, one full bath, three days on the market before it got sold and then uh, built in 1924 with 930 square feet on a standard lot of 0.16 of an acre and they have a neighborhood view. House number three in Port Angeles is on Dan Kelly Road. 
we have been in this one too. Um, the original list price was three forty four. They dropped it to three thirty five, and it sold for three twenty seven one hundred. A total of sixteen thousand nine hundred less than the original asking. Two bedroom, one bath, eighty seven days on the market. Built in nineteen fifty seven, <coughs> with thirteen twenty two square feet on five acres. The acreage was really nice. It was yeah, a, beautiful land. Yeah. And it's way out in the wilderness. You kind of get through. Dan little, Kelly's a fun road. Yeah, a little uh, <clears throat> corner of heaven there. So the next home is on South Laurel Street. We live on Oak Street. Laurel is one over, so it's up the hill. This is also a friend of ours, a fellow we used to work with, who's now in Africa um, putting in wells. So, so um, He was a realtor. Yeah, so different uh, tribes have clean water, which is really cool. Anyway, originally listed for... Uh, 399,000 sold for 395, and that's 4,000 less than asking. It's um, typical of a lot of homes built in this year, which is 1938. Loads of hardwood and uh, all kinds of potential to, to make it shine, bring it up to date. And it has two bedroom, one bath, one half bath, was 29 days on the market uh, with uh, 1,308 square feet and on a double lot, 0.32 of an acre. Saltwater and Mountain View. Cool. House number five is on Cedar Park Road, which is behind, by the theaters over there, towards the water. Uh, we've sold several up, up there. Originally for 520, and they dropped it to 479, and then it sold for 475. $45,000 less than the original asking price. Great neighborhood, by the way. Three bedrooms, three baths, 40 days on the market. Uh, built in 1996. And it had 1795 square feet and 0.34 of an acre with a territorial view. Okay. <laughs> we have a lot of homes of uh, friends of ours. So this one is also yep. uh, a friend of ours, a fellow realtor that we used to work with. And, the realtors uh, are bugging out. Yeah, <laughs> realtor. I don't know what's that tell you, but uh, awesome, awesome neighborhood. We've sold a, a few up in this area. Uh, they have a god view of the of the sound, the water, straight, and the straight. Uh, it's on Diamond Vista Drive, and this one was originally priced for nine hundred and twenty-five thousand, um, and subsequently clo clo closed at six hundred and eighty-nine, and so that's two hundred and thirty-six thousand below asking. So uh, we know that the seller had moved out of the area, so it was a question of uh, just going to sell the house, you know, and move on. And move on. So three bedrooms, two baths, one half bath, 197 days on the market, and built in 1999 with 2,150 square feet, with two acres, saltwater view, and the unique thing about this home was that it has a a helicopter landing pad. So if you got a helicopter, you're looking for some place to land and make your neighbors uh, unhappy. Get the HOA permission. Yes, yeah. <laughs> which he didn't have. But yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Moving on. Yeah. And house number seven is on Elwa Bluff Road. Um, nice area. Very nice. We have friends that live there. Uh, originally priced at 885. They lowered it to 819 and it sold for eight even. So 85,000 less than original asking. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 122 days on the market. Built in 2000 and it was 3,082 square feet on 1.32 acres with a saltwater view. Big place. Mm -hmm. Wow. We used to live in a big house, and I'm grateful we don't because it's a lot to clean. <coughs> but if you know, we raised four kids there, so it worked out good. So anyway, uh, the next one is on Ocean Cove Lane. It's near Freshwater Bay. If you know where that is, it's uh, west of town. Very, very nice area. Beautiful home here. Original price was nine hundred and ninety-five thousand uh, dollars. Sold for eight hundred and ninety-nine thousand. Three bedrooms, two baths, one half bath. 108 days on the market, built in 1999, also a good sized home at 2,852 square feet and has um, a pretty cool saltwater view and mountain view as well. Did you mention it was not near Freshwater yeah, Bay? Yeah, I did. Okay. 
Yeah, which is where they launch all the kayak tours. Yeah. <clears throat> now we're moving on to Squim. We have two houses in Squim. The first one's on Williams Place, originally listed for six forty nine nine fifty, dropped it to five ninety nine nine fifty, and sold at five fifty. Ninety nine thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars less. Three bedrooms, three baths, fifty five days on the market. Built in nineteen seventy three. 2524 square feet on 0.19 and this one is on the golf course over there yeah that's fun cool near stymies i think yeah <coughs> and the last one the last one yeah this is on pearson road in squim originally priced for 699,950 sold for 675,000 and that's 24,950 less than asking Three bedrooms, three full baths, 35 days on the market, built in 1994 with 3,161, 3,161 square feet on five acres with a territorial view. So a nice sized home, and uh, we've not been in that one, but it looks like it's got loads of space. So you want to run over our survey of the last? Um, no, you've got okay. it. I don't have it on here. So in the last 17 days in our market, 17. No, last seven days. I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> or sit corrected. She did the, she, I, I sit corrected. She did the, the hard work. I'm just the talking Reader. head here who can't even read that well. So in the last seven days, 17 new homes were listed. And as of today, there are currently 47 uh, site-built, stick-built homes available to buy. And uh, just a point of perspective, how many would we normally expect in a, other than this year, like last year? Oh, on the market, hundred fifty. Maybe, maybe. It, when it was crazy a year ago, yeah, we could have had a hundred, maybe in mm -hmm. a week. Yeah. So, anyway, two homes closing in Squim. There's like, um, how many realtors in Squim? Two hundred. Two hundred. So, anyway, um, so in terms of the overall trend, we're seeing still a, a dropping of price for the homes that are selling. Um, the price difference is beginning to get a little closer to what asking is. So that means that. The original asking price is being adjusted a little more accurately. And so we would expect that sometime in the next three or four months that we'd begin to see homes that are selling at or near asking, and sometimes a little better balance of some over asking, some under. And when that happens, that means probably the, the market in our area has bottomed out for the time being. Mm. Uh, we still read national surveys that they are very confident that prices will continue to rise nationally. <laughs> And um, so we're not seeing it here, but I, I guess there are markets around the country yeah. where um, things are still getting more expensive. So I guess we'll, time will tell as usual. So you want to say And did you read that last little factoid there? Um, so in Port Angela, I did a quickie here um, before we came on air. Uh, all, I looked for all the site-built homes in Port Angeles available to buy. There are 47. Well, this is just Port Angeles. Just Port Angeles. Oh, okay. Uh, because I <coughs> thought oh, yeah. it was Squim. Oh, okay. Too. No. So just Port Angeles, <coughs> 400, you know, that, and surrounding area. Mm -hmm. So not many. <coughs> okay. So our, our tour uh, come, comes up next. It's a little bit longer, so we're going to um, cut this one a little short. Should I give the whole address? No. Okay. So the pick of the week for our little spotlight here is on Talus, T-A-L-U-S Drive, listed for $579. <clears throat> it came on this week. Two bedrooms, two baths, <clears throat> built in the year 27, no, 2007, 2007. with 15, 1857 square feet. And it's it's got HOAs, which are 550 a quarter, that that are, um, cover lawn maintenance and some light weeding, but it was well groomed the whole area. So I've I have never mm -hmm. been in a home like this that it looks perfect. It looks like it is set with nobody living in it since 2007. There's no wear <coughs> on these beautiful hardwood yeah. full full thickness hardwood floors. It appears to be to yeah. me, but it's it's just it's an amazing place. And uh, so take a look at it, enjoy the tour. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you have 
uh, you like to subscribe, I think that helps us out somehow. Not <laughs> sure how that works. But, and um, so it's great. You want to leave a comment? We try to get back to the comments, and we'll see you back here in a week. Uh, we may or may not have a spotlight home next week. Depends on if there one is one that comes one on that the market on, that yeah. is empty that we really can be effusive about and, and please that listing agent. So have a great week. We'll see you back in a week. Hello, people of the Port Angeles recap world. <laughs> Damien Brand here. Today's our, our spotlight house is a new listing in Squim. Beautiful. It's really beautiful. Well made, real VG fur, ver, uh, vertical grain. The, the wood floor is perfect. You could never tell it was built in 07. <clears throat> really well cared for. This Here's your office. Let me zoom out a little bit so you get your office. Living room. We'll go down there in a sec. Off to the right here is a, a full bath and a, a spare bedroom. Nice size. One of two. Two bedrooms here. <clears throat> Brent wants that chair in the corner, he said. And we have a dining and kitchen with granite countertops. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, pantry. Let's go in the pantry, check it out. <clears throat> there he goes, and Brent has found his, his new chair. <laughs> And here's the seal I want, because I don't know why doesn't everyone need a seal in brass that just hangs there. Okay, so moving on, closet, uh, another, well, no, it's not a bath. This is your laundry room and the door to the garage and the master be or primary bedroom here. Really nice size. Quiet, a very quiet neighborhood. So you have a toilet room, walk-in shower, linen closet, and the closet. So the um, there would be HOAs. They take care of yard maintenance and light weeding every quarter for 550. Houses are a little close together, but you you can do you can make friends with them. Let's go look. See. I think you're in a better position in this one than this house across the street. See just So, there you have it. Anything else? What's the square footage on this one, honey? Yeah, 2007, and I've been in brand new homes that do not look this nice. Yeah. And for a home that's what, 16, 17 year old, it's, it's perfect. The floors are pristine, it's been very lightly lived in. Yeah. And I think I want to buy this place myself. <laughs> he, he won't get me Although in Although I don't want to live in Squim, I yeah, like where I know. I know. But dang, this is, this okay. is amazing. Well, there you have it. We'll uh, pick another one next week. Hopefully there'll be some new ones on. Talk to you later. Bye.